Good afternoon, church family. It's a beautiful day for a great message today. I'm Kenneth Bingham, lead pastor at Kenneth Bingham Ministries. Um, before we get started, I'd like to pray. So please bow your heads. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us all together. The Lord bless everybody that watches this video. And um, thank you for giving me a chance to plant a seed. You said that your, your word would never come back void. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Please turn your, we're using the New King James Version. Please turn your Bibles to 15, chapter 15, 11, and Luke. That's Luke chapter 15, 11. Verse 11. Then he said, a, create, a certain man had two sons, twelve. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. Now what he did, he sat there and gave his sons their inheritance. Thirteen. And not many days after, the young, younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his possessions with proud go living. Now, the younger son, we, we're going to fast forward 2,000 years. Let's take today, for example. Uh, you give your children their inheritance early. Well, that's what this man did. And then he, um, the younger son took it, and let's say he's from North Carolina, and then he moves to New York with all his inheritance. So now he's living a prodigal life, and he's out partying, buying cars, renting the most expensive apartments. He's living way above his means. 14. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine. Famine means it, it's a short of food. It could be a shortage of jobs in, in today's world in the land. And he began to be in want. Now he's hungry. He's looking for a job. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. So he went to New York and got himself a job and he sent him into his fields to feed the swine so it wasn't a, a famous job or, or a gravy job it was a manual labor job so this man in the Bible sent him to feed his pigs where he Herdle them all into a field and let them eat. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate. So, now, he's looking at, at the pigs as they eat and his belly is hungry. He is hungry. He hasn't had nothing in days. And no one gave him anything. So people just walked on by and, and didn't even give him a sandwich. We're speeding this thing up 2,000 years. So he's sitting on a park bench somewhere and he's hungry and no, everybody just looks the other way and not paying any attention to him. And he's 17. But when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have bread enough to spare and I perish with hunger. So now he's looking at, let's say his father owned a construction company and uh, he all of a sudden was looking at the employees, you know, they're getting paid well, well enough to have plenty, you know, and then they're throwing out food as people do today. 
you know, 17. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare? Meaning they have food in their refrigerators. They have plenty to eat. Okay, we're going to move on to 18. I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. So now he's going to go to his father and try to make amends for what he did. He went and squandered his inheritance and he has nothing. 19. And I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants and now he's just asking me please just give me a job and let me be like um, an employee understand that I did wrong to you 20 and he arose and came to his father but when he was still a great way off his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. So see folks, you know, we have unconditional love for our children. And that's the way he had for his son, you know, he went and fell on his neck and gave him a kiss, which is a hug and a kiss. Who wouldn't do that for their own child? 21, and the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight and am no longer worthy to be called your son. So he told his father, he just, you know, he asked his father just to hire him on as a laborer so he could eat and have a house to live in. 22, but the father said to his servants, his other employees, bring out the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet. Now, he's given him the best of everything when he came back. His father never held it against him that he went and squandered all of his money and his inheritance. And bring the fatted calf here and kill it and let us eat and be merry. So now he's throwing him a party and, uh, you know, he, he's just glad that he came back home. 24, for this is my son, was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be married. Okay, now they're, they're having this party, and they're eating the best of meats. You know, it'd be, today it would be steak or whatever, you know. Uh, that's what you do when you love your children. You just love them unconditionally and you're just happy that they made it back safely. And you pray for them every day that they return. You know, if we could do that to our sons and our daughters, how much more would Jesus Christ not do it for us? You know, we're all sinners and um, there's nothing that he won't forgive. Our sins is all we got to do is ask him, and our sins is forgiven as far as the east is to the west. The east will never meet the west, and it don't matter what you've done in the past.